Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I would have met you off the train. I think I'm on the fucking train. Off the bus, then? I think I'm on the bus, then. So how did you get here, then? Oh, <laughs> this little dog? I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna bang it, bang it. Energy formed into macromatic cool, macrolithia, amoeba fish, the fish, the fowl, the fowl, the frog, the frog, the mammal, the mammal, the monkey, the monkey, the man. A more macromat, squid, pro, for momentum, more ad infinitums, free from the death, free, 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 and free under the grave. I didn't come on the fucking train. Off the bus, then? I didn't come on the bus, either. So how did you get here, then? Well, basically, there was this little dot, right? And the dot went bang, and the bang expanded. Energy formed into matter, matter cool, matter lived. The amoeba, the fish, the fish, the fowl, the fowl, the froggy, the froggy, the mammal, the mammal, the monkey, the monkey, the man. A more matter, Matt. Quid pro quo, memento mori, ad infinitum, sprinkle on a little bit of grated cheese, and leave under the grill till doomsday. <laughs>
the universe began, we are beginning to look towards the end. How will it become devoid of life, stars, galaxies, or even cease to exist entirely? The first thing to consider, is the way the universe is expanding outwards at the speed of light. The more space expands, the more space there is that can. And so the process accelerates with time. At intergalactic distances beyond our local group, objects are receding away from us at an alarming rate. Galaxies will be moving away from us, faster than the speed of light. The distance between us is growing more than light can travel in the same increment of time. This means there is a point relative to us beyond which light will never reach us. The cosmic event horizon. This boundary separates our observable universe from the rest of the universe which we will never be able to see or detect. When galaxies cross this boundary, they become causally disconnected. 
What little hope there may have been relating to transportation, communication, and eventually observation of any kind, will be gone. Be gone. These galaxies will be lost, never to be seen again. More than 95% of galaxies in the observable universe have already passed this point of no return. In several billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide and merge. Eventually, dozens of smaller dwarf galaxies in the local group will be drawn to this new giant starburst galaxy, unpopularly named Mildromeda. As the amount of dark energy continues to elongate and expand the universe, even galaxies closest to us will have crossed over the cosmic event horizon. Within 150 billion years, everything beyond our local supercluster will be invisible and undetectable. This curtain of darkness will continue to swallow everything beyond the boundaries of our galaxy, eventually becoming impossible to know if anything exists beyond the edges of Mildromeda. With galaxies flung beyond reach of one another, new galaxies will not be able to form, and those remaining in our universe will begin to die out. New stars will be unable to form, and the existing ones will either collapse into white dwarfs or go supernova. Over time, the great fires of the universe will be extinguished, as the galaxies they formed in become unbound. In 100 trillion years, the final long-living red and white dwarfs will burn out the last of their fuel, and fade into black dwarfs. The universe will be in its second dark age, only this one will likely be eternal. eternal, eternal, eternal. One of the universe's primordial signatures will be the last to die out. Photons of the cosmic microwave background will eventually fade out, becoming undetectable. The afterglow of the Big Bang will glow. No more. Only the supermassive black holes will survive, and at 10 to the power of 40 years, they will have consumed the last of the matter, single-handedly dominating the dark, cold, empty universe. The black holes will eventually evaporate due to Hawking radiation, and perhaps as far as 10 to the power of 100 years into the future, black holes will finally frizzle out of existence. The universe will be a dark, cold, sparse, empty void. The big crunch. The big freeze. The big rip. The big bounce. The big slow. These are the five ways our universe could meet its destiny. If the human race prevails for thousands, or even millions of years, we might be able to observe the mechanisms that will determine the fate of our universe, rather than relying solely on our predictions and equations. We know everything will come to an end, but until such time however, we may as well just sit back, and enjoy the ride. Thank you. 